A wise man once said not to be afraid of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. Oh. Who is it? Um, your highness, uh, the king was wondering if you could make him a sandwich. It's three o'clock in the morning. Ah, uh, yeah, but uh, he says that he's the king and whatever he says goes. Well, I'm the queen and the king can make his own sandwich. Okay. You can't do this to me. I'm the queen. Oh, you wanna bet? The king can do whatever he wants. He's the king. And don't come back. Don't you think that might have been a little harsh? Oh, no way. If she got away with that, no one would listen to you. Well, what am I going to do now? It looks like we're going to have to find you a new queen. Hmm. Make me a sandwich. This is the story of a great person. It's hard to say whether our hero was born that way or was just placed in the right place at the right time and decided to do the right thing. I suppose you can be the judge of that. Oh, and one more thing. Our hero isn't a king, just an ordinary girl. Let me see if I got this. You saw your friend steal an apple. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it wasn't hers, but she took it. Yep. And now you don't know what to do. Yeah, what should I do? What do you think you should do? Well, uh, I suppose I should tell her it was wrong and, and that she should pay for it. Sounds like a good answer. Yeah, but I'm, I'm too scared. Esther. Yeah, Cousin Mordecai? How long have I been your cousin? Well, uh, pretty much forever. Eh, hey, give or take. Have I ever steered you wrong? Well, no, I guess. You never need to be afraid to do what's right. Do you remember that song your grandmother used to sing? Um... You mean the one about God being on our side and not having to be afraid? Yeah, I remember that one. Good. But what if she doesn't want to be my friend anymore? Oh, Essie, you can do the right thing. And there are problems out there a lot bigger than stolen apples. Like that one. It's Haven. That guy hates me. I gotta get scared. Interested. The king needs a queen. Get in the wagon. Um, Essie, uh, for your own good, you should probably go. What? But I... Sir, I need to stay here so I can take care of my... Shh! 
Did you shush me? What? Uh, no, I was shushing. Hey, I know you. You're Mordecai. Hello, Heyman. You can call me sir. You know, we both work for the king, but compared to me, you are a gnat. It's a G. Silent. It's Nat. Are you calling me a gnat? No, just correcting your pronunciation. Are you calling me stupid? Uh, no. You, get in the wagon. You, bow to me. Uh, no. Bow. No. Bow. I bow to no one except my god and my king. Peter, get in the wagon. But I want to see with my... Shh. Did you shut me again? No. Oi. Essie, go. I'll explain later. Hesse, are you there? Cousin Mordecai? Mordecai, what's go- Shh! Okay, okay. Sorry about all the shushing. But look, Heyman hates us. Hates our whole family. If he knew I was your cousin, he'd hate you too. And then you could be in grave danger. Esther, you mustn't let anyone here know that you're part of our family. But I don't even want to be here. Why do I have to be here? Oh, Essie, I don't know the future, but God does. Maybe there's a reason. I'll come visit you again. Tell me why I don't understand. Tell me why, or show me your hand. Tell me why, because I can't see my way through. What now should I do? Puppies are cute, they're never nasty or mean. I give a home to all the lost puppies. If ever one day I were queen! Arr! Yes, uh, that was contestant number 37. Uh, what am I going to do with all those dogs? Next! Ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> now, all the way from Babylon, home of the Hanging Gardens, uh, Miss Babylon! Go ahead. What am I supposed to do again? A, a, a song! You're supposed to sing a song! Didn't you prepare anything? I guess I wasn't expecting to get this far. Well, please, sing something! You're making me look bad! Let's see... Remember that song your grandmother used to sing? Okay, I've got something. The battle is not ours We look to God above For He will guide us safely through And guard us with His love So do not be
Yep. Well, <laughs> you gotta be at least a little excited. Nobody even asked me if I wanted to be queen. Oh, Essie. You always did have a mind of your own. <laughs> I always like that about you. Oh, don't worry. There must be a reason. But hey, tomorrow you'll be introduced to the court. Oi, that'll be fun. <laughs> oh, oh, get some rest, Queen Essie. My cousin, Queen Apoja. <laughs> Who knew? Mordecai, the king, what's he like? Oh, he's sharp, real sharp. I think you're really going to like him. <laughs> Do you think she's gonna like me? Oh, you bet she will. You're the king. Everybody likes you under penalty of death. Well, yeah, but, you know, even if I weren't the king, say I was one of those guys who cleans up after the camels or a lawyer or something, do you still think? No doubt about it. You're big and strong, charming, handsome. Why, any girl in the whole kingdom would be happy to make you a sandwich. King or no king? You really think so? Oh, I know so. Well, all right then. Bring her in. What are you doing here? I don't remember inviting... Every newlywed needs a cake, no? Oh, my. Well, that's lovely. You made that for me? Oui. Oh, you shouldn't have. It looks delicious. Why don't you bring me over a piece? Well, well you know, I was thinking you could come over here to eat it. Uh, well, I always eat right here on my throne. Why would I need to come over? Oh, oh, King, it, it's the light. The light in this particular spot is just right. You can only appreciate the full beauty of this confectionery masterpiece in their proper light. Ooh, light, huh? Well, that makes sense, I guess. I suppose I could come over there. <laughs> Hey, who's this guy? Uh, I am the royal chef. I've never seen you. I'm, uh, new. He made me a cake. Psst. Isn't that nice? Did you invite him? Yes. No. Did you tell him what can happen to someone who appears before you uninvited? Well, no. I was too busy thinking about that cake. Doesn't it look yummy? Stop! It's a trap! Ah! Why is there a piano on my cake? Peony Brothers, the most wanted peas in Persia? That's right we are! And we could have taken over the kingdom if it wasn't for that meddling queen! You saved my life! Well, actually, your highness, it was the good guard Mordecai. He alerted me. 
It was Mordecai who saved your life. Oh, well, uh, Mordecai, I, uh... Ha! King! What should the punishment be for these two dangerous criminals? Uh, the most wanted bees in Persia, who appeared before you uninvited and tried to drop a piano on your head! Well, uh, let's see. It should probably be pretty stiff, huh? What do you think? I say the punishment should be banishment to the island of perpetual diggling! You don't mean the island where you are tickled day and night, out and down, without stop, not even if you say pretty please! things you don't do in Persia. One of them is trying to drop a piano on a king's head. The other is appearing before him uninvited. The Peony brothers found these things out the hard way. Now it might seem that things are going pretty well for Esther and Mordecai. After all, they saved the king's life. But Haman had something else up his sleeve, or wherever. You see, nothing could be worse for Haman than for his enemy Mordecai to be on a king's good side. If the king liked Mordecai more than him, it might jeopardize his position as the second in command. So Haman came up with his own sneaky little plan. Your Highness, I believe there is much to fear. Really? Those peonies are no longer here. A much greater danger may await you now. How's that possible? With permission, your highness, I'll tell you how. Go on. It's my duty to inform you, and if I'm correct, to ignore this great emergency would be neglect. It's the motto of my office, serve and protect. There are those who walk among us who show no respect. Really? The law must be adjusted. There are those who can't be trusted. Oh my goodness, tell me about these people. A sneaky little family who do sneaky little things, who stick their sneaky noses into matters of the king. I fear if they're not dealt with, the prospect makes me weep. A zucchini-shaped sarcophagus is where you'll sleep. <gasps> really? The nerve! I am disgusted. There are those who can't be trusted. That sure doesn't sound like a nice family. Nope. Your Highness, I believe we must act with speed. Agreed. Say the word. I'll give you what you need. A simple solution, but you must act now. Well, how can I help? With permission, Your Highness, I'll tell you how. After careful calculation, I've got just a ding. We'll send them to the dreaded Isle of Pickling. But before I can take action, we have to close that deal. And it needs a kingly imprint of your royal seal. I agree. They must be busted. There, there are those who can't be trusted. That sneaky little family who do sneaky little things Who stick their sneaky noses into matters of the king But crimes against the kingdom, their punishment is sleep The element of tickling is where they'll sleep The law is now adjusted For those who can't be trusted What's this? Oi! 
Elsie! 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 Cousin Mordecai? What is it? Oh, he's done it! He's finally done it! Who? Done what? Look! What's this? It's an edict. In just a few days, all of us, our whole family, will be sent to the island of perpetual tickling! What? Who? Who did this? Oh, who do you think? Heyman! I told you he hates us, hates our whole family, and, and now he's done it! He got the king to sign this, and, and we'll all be banished! Oh, what are you gonna do? That's just it! I can't do anything! I'm just a guard! But you, you're the queen! What do you mean? You must go to him! You must go to the king! What? Don't you know what happens to people who appear before the king uninvited? Esther! Remember the Peony brothers? Esther! There is no other way! You are the only one who can stop this! No! No, I'm not gonna! I, I didn't even want to be the queen! No! You're smart, Mordecai. Think of another way. Esther, there is no other way. I... I wasn't even brave enough to go to my friend about the apple, and, and now you want me to go to the king? Even if he doesn't banish me for showing up, why would he listen to me? I mean, Haman is his right-hand man. I can't tell you what to do, but I can tell you this. You wanted to know why you were here, why you became queen. I told you God must have a reason. Esther, perhaps he put you here for such a time as this. Perhaps this is the reason. Esther, you never have to be afraid to do what's right. I'll pray for you. We'll all pray for you. Tell me why I don't understand Tell me why Or show me your hand Tell me why Because I can't see my way through What now? Another one of them wise guys once said that in the moment of truth, a great person doesn't have to think much about what they're going to say or do. They just speak and do what's right. Esther knew what she had to do was right, so she figured she didn't have to be nervous. All right, so she was a little nervous. Give her a break. Hi, queen.
so we're all set. I got the big bolt reserved for Friday. Uh, two more days, and we'll be rid of that dangerous family forever. Good work, Heyman. What would I do without you? Hey, who invited the queen? Did you invite the queen? Uh, no. I don't think I did. But that's okay. Come on over here, Queenie Poo. I don't know if anybody told you, but popping up uninvited is generally discouraged around here. By death or banishment. But my little Queenie Poo can visit me anytime she wants. So what is it you want? Just tell me. Whatever you want, it's yours. Um, if it, uh, if it pleases the king, there's something that I'd like to... I'd like you and Heyman to come to dinner tonight. Oh, isn't that nice? She's inviting us over for dinner. Mm-hmm. You bet. We'd love to come. What time you want us over? Uh, say eight? Eight it is. Uh, see you then. Oh, that's nice. Yep, she's a keeper. Now, don't get me wrong. Showing up uninvited before his highness is a very brave thing to do. But telling the king that his right-hand man is a weasel is especially difficult. What if he doesn't believe her? If the weasel stays, well, let's just say it wouldn't be so hot for our girl. No, Esther was looking for just the right moment to spring the news on him. Okay, this is for the wedgie. It's for the wedgie? Mm-hmm. Make it an easy one. Okay. Who was the youngest Jackson? Oh, I think I know that one. It's, uh, wasn't it, uh, Tito? Yeah, Tito. Nope, not Tito. Not Tito? Nope. I thought for sure it was Tito. Nope, not Tito. Not Tito? Um, your highness, the, the real reason I asked you over tonight was to, was to, to see if you would both like to join me for dinner again tomorrow night. Well, oh, sure. Oh, yeah. yeah that sounds well, I'd great. love to come. Are you sure it wasn't Tito? Nope, not Tito. Well, hello there. I guess there's not much to say, eh, Mordecai? Seeing how in two days you'll be waking up in Chuckle City. <laughs> You know, I just came from dinner with the king and queen. And they invited me over again tomorrow night. Eh, I guess they must like me. Why don't you like me, Mordecai? <sighs> you know, it wouldn't be too hard to show me that you like me. Just a little bow, that's all. Is that so hard? Who knows? I'm a very influential guy. I might be able to work something out for you and your family. Arrogance is not fitting for a fool, Heyman. Much less is lying fitting for a right-hand man. I'll never bow to you. AM. King puts on his slippers and brushes his teeth. 9.32. King cuts himself shaving. Ouch. I remember that one. How about something more recent? You got anything more recent? Thanks for doing this. You know, it really does help me sleep. 1.40. King is joined by Heyman in the throne room. I really like it when you read me these records. I guess you could say it's the story of me. 1.45. Heyman leaves to get queen. 1.47. Chef arrives with wedding cake. 1.50.
King stands up to eat cake. Ooh, this is a good one. Excitement, drama. 151, the king's life is saved by the guard Mordecai. 152. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say Mordecai saved my life? He's that little grape with the mustache, right? Uh, yep. Mordecai, huh? Do we ever do anything to thank him for that? Uh, nope. That's a shame. Maybe I ought to give him a card or something. You know, to show my appreciation. I wish I were more creative with things like that. Uh, oh, come in. Oh, King, I have a most urgent request. I'm wondering if you whoa, 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 Wait a minute there, Heyman. Uh, let me ask you something. I need a little creative advice. Ah, uh, uh, okay. What is it? Okay, there's this really great guy that I really want to thank. You know, to show him my appreciation for something he did. You got any ideas? Oh, well, King, I'm flattered. I, uh... I was thinking of a card or something. Oh, no, no. No, cards are nice, but this sounds like a very special guy. Uh-huh. It sounds like the kind of guy who deserves a parade. A parade? Yeah, I think this guy should be dressed in royal robes and be marched through the whole city on your horse. <laughs> and, and, and maybe you should even let him wear one of your crowns. I guess he is pretty special. And one of your most noble princes should lead this man through the streets proclaiming, this is a really neat guy. The king really likes him. He's brave and has rugged good looks. You see, Heyman, you're the creative one around here. What would I do without you? Oh, well, you know, thank you, Your Highness. I, uh... All those things you mentioned, every last one, do that for the good god Mordecai, the man who saved my life. <laughs> and, and you be the one to go with him on that parade, okay? <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Lucky thing you dropped by. Now, what was it you wanted? <laughs> you know, maybe you should just ask me tomorrow. I'm getting kind of sleepy. Good night! They say that pride comes before a fall. It looks like nobody told that to Haman. But if Mordecai, Esther, and their whole family are gonna be saved, Esther's gotta come through. And she's only got one more chance. could be. See ya, Heyman. Thanks for the parade. <laughs> Laugh all you want. You won't be laughing tomorrow. <laughs> and no, wait. You will. Oh, never mind. Hi. Sorry I'm late. The real reason I called both of you here again tonight is to... is to... to... Remember, Esther. You never need to be afraid to do what's right. Your Highness, if someone is plotting against my family. Tomorrow, my people and I will be banished to the Island of Perpetual Tickling. What? Banish my queen? Oh, who would dare? It's Haman. Is this true? I don't know what she's talking about. She's crazy. It is true. Can you prove this charge? I'm telling you, she's making it up! Wait a minute. Well, that's Mordecai. I, I just gave him a parade. Mordecai is my cousin. His family is my family. You had me banish the man who saved my life and my own queen? <laughs> For your punishment, Haman, you ought to be sent to the island of perpetual tickling along with anyone else who dares scheme against my queen and her family. Haman got 
out what was coming to him, and then some. And Mordecai, this is my favorite part, he got Haman's old job, the number two guy in the whole kingdom. Not bad. Esther, what a gal. She showed more courage than 10 kings and saved her people. Now, she wasn't born for greatness. She didn't go to school for it. She just learned that sometimes God has plans so big only he can see them. All she had to do was believe. Yup, she was just a regular kid, just like you. Peace. 